unboxing is called Granny Came Here on the Empire Windrush. It is written by Patrice Lawrence and illustrated by Camilla Sucre. Um, and it is published by Nosy Crow. Um, and it looks like it's an immigration story. Um, and I thought it was interesting because it looks like, um, yeah, it, it looks like an immigration story, but you know, usually on the, on the, on the boats, um, a lot of the picture books I've seen, it's more about of a European immigration story. And this one is about someone who's immigrating from Trinidad to relocate to London, England. So I thought, you know, I haven't seen that in, in books before. And so the Empire of Windrush, I think, is this um, large um, ship. And here we learn about, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a, like a biographical story, but like sort of recast as like fictional, or if this is really meant to be a um, biography. Um, but Patri Patrice Lawrence was born in Brighton, England. Um, she's of Italian, Trinid Trinidadian descent. Um, oh, and she wrote a YA um, book, Orange Boy. And so, yeah, th I think this is about her mother's story. And her mother, is she a performer? Oh no, Winifred. I don't know who Winifred Atford is. So she's talking about a singer. Um, and I think there's just more stories too. It looks like she's telling stories about other, um, maybe Caribbean women of note. Um, so I, Mary Seacole, someone I just learned about, who was a nurse during the Crimean War. Um, a lot, I mean, sort of a contemporary of Florence Nightingale, but she never got any kind of credit. And in fact, you know, they, it was even hard for her to volunteer her nursing services because there was so much racial discrimination. Um, and so like, so I think um, Winifred is another, maybe this is a story about um, her immigration, but also touching on other strong black women. Cause here, I thought it was just Caribbean, but here, she talks about Rosa Parks. Um, interesting. I like the I like I like this um, how she weaves multiple stories in. Um, and it's also her personal story of how she immigrated and met her husband. It's, you know, it's sort of like this cozy time between a grandmother and a granddaughter um, and just, you know, sharing her stories. Um, looks, it looks great. All right. They, um, Camilla is also a Trinidadian American illustrator. So that's a really nice connection um, to have an illustrator who is also um, from that same um, lived experience. So thank you to Nosy Crow for sending me this book and thank you for watching.